Jagriti, so lovely to be here with you today. Thank you so much. Thank you. So let's start at the beginning. Tell me about how you founded your company. Yeah, sure. I took computer science for the first time as a freshman in college, and it was super, super difficult for me. I always felt like I had to work like twice as hard as other people. Many of my friends also felt the same way. And this kind of affected our self-esteem for years afterwards, right? Because I think the way that you're taught and your education can have a huge impact on your sense of self-worth and how you see yourself. And so we provide tools and curriculum to teach computer science and AI to middle school and high school students. So we try to empower teachers to teach the subjects and students to learn the subjects. We want to make those, those intro classes in particular accessible and motivating and something that kind of builds self-esteem. And it, you know, I, I truly believe believe these subjects are something that anybody can learn and, and everybody should have a fundamental understanding of how they work because it's a huge part of how our world works. You're selling it to school districts, correct? Yeah, yeah. Currently, we like our biggest partnership is, is a partnership with the state of Tennessee. We went through an RFP process with the state. So, so pretty much the state chose us as their provider for computer science education. Mm -hmm. So they're actually going to have a graduation requirement starting next fall, which requires every single high school student in the state of Tennessee to have to take computer science to graduate, which is like, that's huge. How many states and schools are you in right now? So Tennessee, we have that whole state partnership with. Mm -hmm. The state of Ohio has actually used, used one of our, our courses as well, one of our mini AI courses too. We're speaking to New York, California, spoken to Arkansas, as well as other countries too. So East and West Africa, as well as in Asia. So there's, there's a lot. <laughs> That's amazing. Can you talk to me a bit about any metrics to show the scale of your company? Can you talk about how you've had sales growth or revenue growth or user growth? Yeah, yeah. So I would say we've had about 2.5 to 3 million in sales. Talk to me about your fundraising journey. What's that been like and how much have you raised? Our most recent round was our Series A and it was 15 million. And I think so far we've raised about 21 million. When dealing with dictionaries, instead of using if else statements to check if a key exists inside the dictionary. What's it move? like to be a young woman in a very male centric tech field? Yeah. Especially a young woman too. Yeah, it's... yeah. So I actually I worked at JPL. I was one of like a few women out of like a group of about 30 and it was it was it was tough but I also think it's so important to have mentors and people who, who support you when we visit schools in Tennessee right like I get to talk to the girls taking those classes and they come up to me and like we chat and I think that is kind of what keeps me going is there one piece of business advice or a rule that you always operate by no matter yeah. what? Yeah, there is. And it's it's gonna sound simple, but it's really to treat people well and with mm. respect and empathy. And I think like whether it's business or personal, I I I truly believe this and maybe I'm I'm privileged to have experienced this and believe this. I think if you treat people well, treat them with respect and empathy, then the right people will surround you and the right people will support you. That's actually, I mean, I feel like we talk about that in our courses too, because I think yeah. one big role education has is, you know, I mean, kids are learning these different subjects in a very important time in their life. So it's mm -hmm. important to, to show them that like kindness and empathy can go a long way too. So yeah. that's, and I, I think it, it can go a long way in business, you know, professional, personal. So that's, totally I mean, agree. Yeah. It can be really <laughs> applied to anything. Yeah, it sounds simple, but I think it's, it's really, really important to remember on a day-to-day -day basis. Last question for you. What would you like your legacy to be? What would I like my legacy to be? I think this maybe ties back to the piece of advice. It's gonna sound simple, but I guess I hope I can be somebody that helps other people believe in themselves a little bit more. Yeah. I think education has a big role to play in that. So I think if we can create a product and courses and curriculum that make people feel like they have the potential to be who they want and do what they want, that'll mm. be great. That, and I just hope I can be someone that's empathetic and kind and can help others do the same. <laughs>